hello all so today we're talking about how you can extend the cost adjustment overview that was released with the 2024 to release wave one so if you haven't seen that feature i would highly encourage you to watch this particular session which is available on youtube i'll add the link in the first pin comment uh, this video in detail talks about what this feature is and how you utilize it but then in that there was a good question that made me think that how complex it will be to extend or to enhance this the question as listed here is very useful feature nicely explained thank you for that for item batches is it possible to name a batch say raw material finished goods or does it set to be pipe filter now by default it need to be pipe filter but then can you create those kind of filters based on a field so what we are going to do in this particular video is to trying to extend this feature to say have a capability of clicking a button and system automatically identify uh, how to create that pipe filter which is needed to filter out those records so we'll be using the inventory posting group in this case to identify is it a raw material finish good or you know other options that you have in inventory posting group and then based on your inventory posting group generate a list of filters entered so stay connected if you are interested if you're not maybe i'll see you into the next video so before we get into it as i say all the time uh if you haven't then please hit that subscribe button it helps us to understand how we are doing and without wasting further time, let's get into it. So the code will be available in GitHub. There is a repo called Extend Inventory Repo, uh, Inventory Cost Adjustment. You can just refer that repo after this video so that to access the code if needed. And do let me know into the comments how you look, how this theme looks, because based on some of the comments that I've read, people were not happy with the theme that I was using, black or white. And if you like it, it is a theme called, let me see, yeah, Dracula Official. So this is the theme that I'm using right now for my VS Code. If you are into it, if you like it, then you can just install it. If you don't like it for the recording, let me also know it in the comments and I can maybe look for another suggestion for the theme. Okay. So let's see what we want. So there is a page called cost adjustment overview this one and there's an option to add batches like item batches and as you can see i have some and i'll delete all of them for the for time being the idea here is that these batches microsoft have given some possibilities and let's see what those are and it makes sense what they have done is they have uh, add batch option which lets you either use the selected item or all the item in the item list to get added into the batch or there is another option to add batch and run now we'll what we want to add an action here to utilize that to do it based on inventory posting group because inventory posting group is the field uh, let's go in here and i don't see items it's bad okay let's come here inventory posting group field tells you uh, what kind of item it is if you're using different field you might or if you need it based on some different field after watching this video you'll get that idea that how easy it is to kind of utilize the same feature for any other field that makes sense from a business perspective so right now there are three inventory posting group finished raw material and resale so let's try this okay so let's go back to our VS code, wherever that is. Yes. In the source, let's start adding a new AL file. And because it's a page, we'll need to create a page extension. Now we need to understand what page it is. So let's see that. Cost adjustment. Okay. And if we do the page inside using control alt F1, uh, the page inspection window should open and we'll see that the page is cost adjustment overview so let's just copy that we are trying to extend this page and we'll name it as this 
all right so the page extension is more or less ready and because we want to add an uh, action into it so we'll look for the actions area inside the action area you would like to add normally you should be adding on either using the add last or add first but for this particular scenario i would use add after and i'll use it to add after add batch okay but i will surely recommend it to use it at first or last if you can but this case we would like to add it after add batch so add batch okay and then we'll have to see what the add batch action is doing so that we can kind of uh, utilize the same set of code now if you look at it here uh, it's asking for a choice which is do you want to add selected item or all the items and if it is zero then it exits it if it is choice is one then it applies the filter of all the selected item that you have and then calls this code unit or record to add item to the bucket now this bucket then adds it into let's see into using the selects uh, selection filter management gets those item and insert that right uh, okay so let's do this okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy this action as it is so that we have some place to start and i'll place it here okay Let's start making changes to this so that it looks the way we want we will call it as let's say add uh, inv posting batch and this is the name of the action uh, okay uh, okay and then uh, the name of it is add batch inventory posting group and you can as i'm doing it for inventory posting group you can do it for any other field that's needed add the items uh, to the new adjustment cost batch based on inventory posting group now here uh, there's an error and it says that it need to have an application area which makes sense so let's do an application area all and i would like to use a different image so let's look for posting group oh there's nothing but posting entries will work so you'll get a different item in this i'll need item for sure i'll need this i don't want user to be asked a question so the whole choice logic goes away okay and now i'll also need the inventory posting group so let's add inventory posting group as of record inventory posting group because it's 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 a master it said you might have different inventory posting group if needed right so what i can do here is we can try doing uh, check if inventory posting group is found uh, then we'll have to repeat it for each inventory good group okay inventory posting group dot next is equal to zero it kind of repeats it for all the inventory groups once we find that what we'll have to do is we'll have to do a uh, range or selection of item based on that particular inventory posting group okay all right now once we find that item and it can be no item in found in a group so we'll do if it is not empty empty okay if there are records found in this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, pass this as it is so whatever the records are found they'll be passed to this function based on this variable and that will add them into the bucket which will add a new batch over there now the question was also that can i name that bucket some way and not by default but again let's try looking at what page it is so there is this page called item adjust cost 
uh, adjustment runners. So what we can do, let's try doing this because it is coming from this uh, table. So let's try to add a field into it by using table extensions. And I'll make it cleaner later. I don't want to waste your time into it. So I'm just going to add this and name it as STH cost adjustment bucket. And let's say the field called batch name. Uh, data type would be text. Uh, the length would be let's say 100 and customer content. Okay, let's finish this and okay. And make it an editable false uh, so that users cannot change it if you want to keep it open that's up to you okay now once this is added we'll also have to add it into the page right for viewing purposes which is this page okay so let's add a, another page extension and this is my page hopefully yeah and I'll name it as SDH. Okay, first adjustment run. Let's finish this. And in this, I would like to add that field into the layout of what we're doing. Right? Uh, so we want to add something in the first of the control, which should be content. No, I don't know this. So let's check into this page. So we want to add it into the repeater called runs because that's where the field is. So the repeater is called runs. So let's do at first into the runs and we can just utilize uh, the AZAL extension to add fields into it, which it is not finding. Hmm. Surprisingly, it should find my this field, which is batch name. And I forgot to add my prefix. My bad. Thank you for not adding it so i have done sdh batch name so let's add it here mm. let's do this and let's name it as sdh batch name which is uh, back off sdh batch name all right so this is also set now we will also have to set this value because it's not getting the value by default automatically so what you can do here when we are doing this somewhere in this code uh it's inserting it it's getting the filter and then it is calling insert not started cost adjustment batch in this it is uh doing the inventory setup load field and then doing a get and then adding it in here okay but to my surprise, there is no event available at this point, which is a little bit surprising because there should be an event at this point. But I think Microsoft don't have any plans to have you change this at any moment. Hmm. But this is interesting that they don't have any plans to do this. So yeah, that seems that you cannot name it directly. But what we'll do is we will let it be editable so that users can change it if needed in both the places. So if somebody want to give a name, they can just utilize this field and name it. Programmatically, it seems you will not be able to add it. And I need to have a tooltip for it. So let's do a tooltip. Okay. The last thing that when we added this action it need to be promoted and now if you don't know it let me know into the comment section maybe i'll do a separate video about it but you also have to add a field into the promoted category so there is a whole section of add batch and promoted and then inside this you need to add the action reference if i'm not wrong and i'll call it as this and before this i'll have to add again this with promoted now what will happen with this 
uh, this is a lot cleaner way of adding promoted rather than adding lots of property here so now just with this property it automatically promotes it and makes it visible on the screen and you'll notice that this area is called as uh, the split button and here there are all these actions which are promoted so you can create different kind of groups this video is not about that but this kind of promotes it so now let's see how it works or does it work or not i haven't tested it out but let's do a publish directly which again you should not be doing uh, you should be building the app using your source control and then deploying it on your environment or your customer environment but for the demo we are just publishing it directly from vs code and we should be able to see it here now understand it from this perspective that this is just a demo from one field but you can have different business requirement of how you would like to group your items into batches while running the adjust cost going forward right so when i do adjust cost um you can see this page here it is when i look into the batches there are no batches but there is a new field now that i can utilize this and then i can do the run adjust cost uh run cost adjustment and i see a new action to add batch based on inventory posting group as i click on to it and then i go into item batches i see that there are different batches created based on different posting group now it doesn't mention what this is because that's how it is right now but if i copy this the first batch and go back to my items list i should be able to apply the same filters into my inventory posting group apply this filter okay i i don't see anything oh sorry i should be doing it on number my bad number this filter and i'll see some items and if i i don't see it here but if i traverse through this list and pay attention to my inventory posting group these are finished good so all of them are finished and that kind of acts as the filter that i've created which is working for everything that is finished which is nothing else right so for the time being um, because there is no event i can just go back into the adjust cost search for inventory cost adjustment and into the batches i can just add the first one as batch name finished in the same way you can identify what these items are name it for your users understanding by utilizing it here i hope that in future there is an event available when the batch is getting added in this area and if that happens uh, that also gives you flexibility to add the name for it if needed because right now it is just doing the item filter and adding the uh, other basic settings as it is right so with just this a small customization you will be able to enhance that feature based on your customer need if they need to do it let's say on unit of majors or any other field from the item card even maybe a custom field you can just extend that functionality and make it the way your customer wants it so they'll be able to better utilize these capabilities as you kind of build solutions which are along their business so let me know your views as comments to this article you know the drill if you think this was good hit the like button if you think this is something that others should know share it on social media accounts and if you haven't then please do subscribe to the channel that helps us to understand how we are doing and i'll see you sooner than later till then keep learning and keep sharing whatever you're learning with the, with your colleagues community and other people into this um have a nice day thank you